decision today. So just very quickly, I like to grab the cap from the top and, and remove it gently. Then it effortlessly comes off. When I draw up medication, of course I'm going to wipe it off with alcohol. Uh, I want to have my thumb already uh, at the, at the um, base of the syringe so that my fingers are ready to withdraw, okay? So then I place the syringe on my hypothenar ev eminence right at the point where the needle joins the syringe. That way I have a lot of room to, to put this on. So if I have small hands, uh, if I have small hands and I put it here, I can't reach. But if I have small hands and I put it here, I can put this bottle. I let the bottle go over the over the um, needle, and I kind of puncture it using uh, mainly using this hand and a little bit of this hand. Now you'll notice that once I've gotten in, my thumb is in place, so I just start to withdraw the medication. And if I need to withdraw more, of course I can I can. I can use any one of my fingers to to withdraw. Okay, so let's say I have my medication. I take it out. Now I have to change the cap. So I again, I hold the cap from the very top. I let that drop on. I pull it down from here. I don't press it from there because this can stab through me. I turn it. Okay. I get my I get my other needle. I put it on. Again, I'm holding this my hands here and I just click it. And when I click it, I remove it from here. If I remove it, if I click it from here, there's a chance that the needle scrapes across my fingers. However, if I displace the cap from here, then there's very little chance of the needle scraping my fingers. Okay, now to anesthetize a lesion. First, I make the the um, first I make the syringe in my finger one unit. Then I put my finger, and, and I can make it like 30 degrees, something like that. Then I put my finger at the lesion that I want to anesthetize, and I put all kinds of traction downward. When the, when the needle, when the bevel is in place, I put the bevel just under the skin. I don't put it too far under the skin, because then I'll be anesthetizing the fat. I need to anesthetize, I need to anesthetize just the, just the lesion. And then I put my thumb from the wing to the plunger, from the wing to the plunger, and I put the medicine in. Okay, and well, it should go. It should go in. Okay, and then I take it out. Uh, if I do an area that hasn't been cut, so that that black dot again, my finger is here. I draw traction, and I put this in. Now notice, I don't want this as a fulcrum and a bending the needle that way. That's no good. I just want no tension on the needle, just the bevel to go in. I put my thumb and I, I raise the bleb, okay? And then I and then I can then I can take it out. Uh, I think that is it.